Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 19. I will prepare the production dependencies. Open Pipeline Shared Library Repository. In the VARS folder, open the Install Dependencies Groovy file. Good. Now add a new parameter. Write Boolean, zoom in, good, only, production, dependencies. The default value will be false. Good. I will pass the only production dependencies to the npm install script. Very good. And in the npm install, I will define the same parameter. Boolean, only, production, dependencies. Very good. Add two new lines. Now open the terminal. I want to show you something. I will write npm ci dash dash help or I will run npm install dash dash help. For us it is the same thing. Good. What I see here it is this flag dash dash omit and it can accept one of the three values, def, optional, or peer. I will select omit def, copy it, and in the IntelliJ write final string omit dev flag equals only production dependencies question mark. Groovy will check if only production dependencies is true and if it is true, it will return a string. Remember the copied value, dash dash omit equals dev. But if only production dependencies is false, Groovy will return an empty string, like this. Now I want to add the omit dev flag to the npm ci command, so I write space, dollar sign, curly brackets, omit, dev flag. Good. Check git changes. Check the first change. I added the only production dependencies parameter. Apply. I also added here the parameter. I created a new variable. It is good. Apply. And I added the flag to the npmci command. Apply. Write the commit message, upgrade it, install dependencies, groovy script, new line, install production dependencies. Very good, commit and push. Commit anyway, push. Perfect. I want to create the stage. Go to the pipeline repository. Scroll down. Remember the install dependency stage. Put here the argument false. So Jenkins pipeline will pass the false value to only production dependencies, it will be false, and it will tell Jenkins to return an empty string. So Jenkins will run npm ci and nothing, only npm ci. Back to the Jenkins file, copy the stage, scroll down, past here the stage, very good. Rename it, install production, dependencies, the timeout will be 3 minutes, and install dependencies will be true. It means Jenkins will pass here true, and the value of only production dependencies will be true, and it will return dash dash omit equals dev. 
so Jenkins will run npm ci dash dash omit dev. Back to the pipeline. Also, an important thing. Jenkins will install dependencies not in the root workspace, but in the deployment folder. I want to get the deployment folder path, scroll up to the previous stage, copy the value, very good, Paste it in the new stage, it's it, and tell Jenkins to enter the folder. dir for directory, put the directory path, it is it, open curly brackets, and Jenkins will enter the directory deployment folder path, and inside that directory, Jenkins will run install dependencies. Add two debug logs, sh, double quotes, ls-la, the deployment folder path, very good, copy the line, and also check the content of node module subfolder. Add the command to remove the debug logs. To do, remove it after debug. Good. Check git changes. I see I put the argument false. Apply. Scroll down. I created a new stage. Everything is OK. Apply the change and write the commit message, create it, double quotes, copy the stage name, past, space stage, new line, install, production, dependencies. Very good, commit and push. Push. Go to the Jenkins pipeline, write your IP and the port number, login, good, go to the folder, open the pipeline, build with parameters, branch name is main and build, wait, Very good, it finished. Refresh the page. Open the circle to see the logs. Scroll down. Here Jenkins started the install production dependency stage. Timeout is three minutes. Jenkins entered the deployment 13 folder and inside that folder it ran npm ci omit dev. It installed 57 packages. Scroll up to the install dependencies stage. It is here and Jenkins didn't put here the omit dev flag and it installed more packages, 156. Scroll down. Let's check the debug logs. Jenkins printed the content of deployment 13 folder. It created the subfolder node modules. It is a directory. And here Jenkins printed the content of node module subfolder. It has 264 items. Let's compare it with package.json. Open the Node.js backend repository. It is it. It is the package.json file. Scroll down. Here we have the dependencies block and have the dev dependencies block. We omitted the dev dependencies, so it means npm install or npm ci did not install mocha and super test. Let's check. Scroll down. And here we don't have mocha. Scroll down again. And we don't have super test. But if we go to the run number 9, which we created in the episode 15, this is this one. Open it. Scroll to the install dependencies. It's here, npm ci, 
and inside the node modules folder we have more items 656 we have the mocha dependencies it is it this one and we also have the super test this is this one here back to the latest run close the package json scroll down here it printed the node modules content and Jenkins entered the post actions, cleaned the workspace, and the status is success. Let's finish. Open the Jenkins file, remove the debug logs, one, two, three, check git changes. I removed the debug logs, apply, and write the commit message. Removed, debug, logs. New line, install production dependencies. Commit and push. Push. It was pushed. Open the diagram. Make the stage white. And it is all. Dependencies are ready for deployment. Excellent job. Thank you for watching.